Recently, I picked up a used Arcade 1UP first generation centipede cabinet. The machine had seen a lot of use, so I did some rehab work on it, including trackball maintenance. Before you say, well why didn't you just replace the trackball, know that I had thought about it. However, it was in good condition and just noisy. I hated to waste money on something the machine didn't actually need, so I simply overhauled it. I've worked on several newer Arcade 1UP units with trackballs, but first generation trackballs are built differently. If you have an older machine, you may find these tips helpful. After removing the control deck and the protective cover, I set up shop at my workbench. I clamped one end of the deck to the bench so the trackball was over open air. The trackball is held to the deck with four screws and some flexible adhesive. Arcade 1UP uses this technique on a lot of its machines, and in the past I've used a hair dryer to heat the adhesive before removing the part. Since then, however, I've found this really isn't necessary. To remove the trackball, unplug the unit and remove the screws. Then carefully insert a putty knife under one corner of the housing and lift. Once it moves a bit, slip the knife under a different corner and repeat. The glue will eventually give way, but it might take a bit of the MDF deck with it. If it does, you can simply scrape it off the pieces. To open the housing, there are two pairs of locking tabs located on opposite sides. Slip the putty knife under one tab to disengage it, then repeat for the other side. Remove the trackball once the lid is off. Inside, you'll find three rollers. Two have small discs with spokes, and the third is an idler. The disc fits between an emitter and a reader. When you roll the ball, the reader transmits the speed and direction from the two discs to the game's computer, and this creates on-screen movement. The three rollers that support the ball are made of metal. To my surprise, the first-generation rollers have simple nylon friction bearings. By comparison, newer Arcade 1UP trackballs use sturdy metal roller bearings. While the nylon bearings are durable, they require lubricant to keep from wearing out. And this is where the trouble can occur. Because there's a gap between the trackball housing and the ball itself, over time the unit collects dust, hair, and whatever was on the player's hands. The friction bearings have a fair amount of exposed grease on them, and that grease attracts all the stuff that works its way into the housing. As a result, you should clean the bearings periodically. There's a locking clip on the bottom of each nylon bearing. To remove a roller, carefully pry the bearing clip by the disc away from its lock in the housing. You only need to unlock one of the two bearing clips to slip the roller out of its supports. Next, remove the end bearing from the axle. Then, slide the disc bearing away from the roller. I used cotton swabs and a micro brush to remove the old lubricant. As shown in the photo, a small hair had worked its way into one of the bearings. You need to apply fresh lubricant to the bearings before replacing them in the machine. I use Traxxas silicone grease for RC cars, but any plastic compatible silicone grease should work. You don't need a lot per bearing. Place a drop on the axle, then slip the bearing back into position over the grease. Be careful to keep the grease off the roller surface. The ball has to be able to grip the metal roller to turn it, and the grease will cause it to slip. To replace a roller, set the end bearing and its locking clip into the support post. Next, set the opposite bearing into its support post with the locking clip exposed. Use the small screwdriver again to carefully move the clip to the side of the support and then drop it into the locked position. Test the roller with your finger to make sure it doesn't bind. After performing the same steps on the remaining rollers, replace the ball and test the movement in all directions. If it operates satisfactorily, then snap the cover in place, making sure the four latches are engaged. Replace the unit in the deck, plug its cable back into the board, and test the machine. This was an easy project that should take you about 30 minutes to complete. While there are better trackballs on the market than the first generation model in this machine, I spent just $3 for a tube of RC grease to keep Centipede functioning reliably for a long time to come. You really only need to clean the bearings when the trackball begins to hesitate or it starts making a lot of noise when you use it. Depending on how much you play the game, cleaning it every couple of years should be sufficient. For more easy Arcade 1UP mods, check out my YouTube channel, Pop Art Studios. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing.